NFTs have been all the rage lately, and with the rise of crypto and digital assets that live forever, everyone is looking to get in on NFTs. And now you can even buy NFT domain names, domain names that you buy once and own forever. But should you really buy an NFT domain? How can you use an NFT domain? Is it a worthwhile investment? In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about the state of NFT domains and how you can use them. Now first, we need to understand what an NFT is and how domain names function. NFT stands for non-fungible token. This is basically a digital unique asset. The tech of an NFT makes this digital asset verifiably yours through a contract with the blockchain. No one else has this original file but you. Depending on the type of NFT, it may or may not be possible to duplicate these digital assets. For example, if you own NFT art, anyone can take a screenshot of that art. It's kind of like going to a museum and pulling out your phone and taking a picture of the painting on the wall. But what you cannot duplicate with an NFT is ownership. You can't go to the museum and take that painting off the wall and take it with you. Well, you could, but that would be stealing. The point is you can't duplicate that exact painting. You may be able to take a picture of it, you may be able to take a screenshot of NFT art, but you can't duplicate ownership. Only one person can hold ownership to a given NFT. So with NFT domain names, only one person can own a given domain name. And before you say something, no, you do not own your .com or .net domain, you're actually leasing it indefinitely. You may be able to use it, you may hold the rights temporarily as long as you renew it to point it to your website, but you don't own it. With NFT domains, you buy it once and you own it forever. But to make this possible, NFT domains are a product designed for Web3, an up and coming standard for a decentralized web. Stay tuned for a dedicated video on Web3. With traditional domain names like .com, .net, .org, these are regulated by ICANN. Think of ICANN like the gatekeeper of the internet. They're a nonprofit organization that regulates the domain name system to make sure that all websites are accessible, they're up, and that every person, when they go in their browser and they type yourdomain.com, your website loads. Domains are a lot more complicated than people realize, and ICANN is constantly working behind the scenes to make sure the centralized system for domain names keeps running smoothly. It's impossible to own a conventional domain name. Everyone leases their .com, .net, or .org domain from the registry. Even Facebook and Google don't own their domain names. You pay a yearly fee for the right to use a domain name, but you can never actually own a domain name outright. This creates a problem. The powers to be could disable your domain name and take your website offline at any given time. It's a centralized system. Someone is the key holder. This is where the benefits of blockchain shine, decentralization. Remember, a blockchain is basically a chain of records or blocks stored on thousands of computers all around the world. The reason the blockchain is associated with crypto is it's almost like a public ledger, almost like bank records. There are thousands of computers across the world constantly keeping track of who has what crypto balance, and all these computers are validating with each other to make sure the information stays accurate. Nobody is in control of the blockchain. There's so many people contributing to the power of the blockchain by contributing some of their computer power to store these records that it's almost like this thing that can't be stopped. So in come NFT domains. Buy it once and own it forever. And because it's decentralized and operates on the blockchain, no one holds the keys to your domain but you. In other words, there are no powers to be who can take your domain name offline. But with this great advantage comes a huge downside, usability. First, you can't buy a .com or .net NFT domain. 
all of the TLDs you're used to, .com, .net, .org, .co, .media. These are conventional domain names. They're powered by that centralized system we talked about earlier. Web3 domains have to be unique, and so far the extensions are pretty bland. There's .crypto, .nft, .wallet, .bitcoin, .coin, etc. So that brings us to the first quirk of NFT domains. The extensions are funky. I'm told that's because NFT domains in their early stages are designed to be more of a username for crypto wallets. So if you've ever sent crypto to someone, you know there's this random string that's their wallet identifier. With an NFT domain, you can link your domain with your crypto wallet so someone could send me cryptocurrency to crypto instead of having to have this long string of numbers and letters to get to my Bitcoin address. Last year, I got to interview Brad Cam, the co-founder of Unstoppable Domains, and in my interview video, he talked more about this whole username thing and how NFT domains have a different purpose now than they might 10 years from now when Web3 is more developed. The cool thing about a blockchain domain name is that it's really more like this, it's this user controlled identifier thing. You could actually point it to all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can point it to crypto addresses, so you can send me money to brad.crypto without needing to know my addresses. You can point it to my decentralized website that would be on IPFS, but you could also point it to traditional servers as well. Right now, they're definitely optimized to be more of a username for crypto wallets rather than a functioning domain name. But what about using NFT domains for something like a WordPress website? That works, right? Well, yes and no. First of all, NFT domains are not easily accessible from mainstream browsers. Right now, only enthusiast browsers like Opera and Brave natively support Web3 domains. You can load Web3 domains in Google Chrome, but it requires some modifications. You have to go to the browser settings and edit some of the advanced settings and follow some articles to get it working. And even still, the implementation in Google Chrome is quirky at best. So NFT domains are not easily accessible to the average user. If they pull out their iPhone and open Safari and type your NFT domain, it's not really going to load. Also, NFT domains are not recognized by Google search. So if you have a website on your NFT domain, it cannot be indexed on Google search. If someone searching for your business, guess what? They're not going to find it. Think about the two parts to any website. We have the domain name and we have the web hosting. We have a way to get the domain name decentralized thanks to NFT domains. We have a way to own our domain outright and control it so that no one else can pull the plug on that domain. But can we do the same for web hosting? After all, if I link that NFT domain to regular web hosting, say I'm using Wix or Squarespace and they include the hosting. Well, Wix or Squarespace can pull my website down at any time. Even though the domain itself cannot be taken down, the files from the web host could be taken down. And that's where decentralized web hosting comes in. Referred to as the Interplanetary File System, or IPFS for short, this method of decentralized hosting works by storing pieces of your website files on thousands of computers all over the world. This means that if one computer goes offline or one user deletes their piece of the files to your website, there's so much redundancy. The files are stored on thousands of computers all over the world, and that way, no one person holds the keys to your website. It would be nearly impossible to take down your website with decentralized IPFS hosting. IPFS is powered by the blockchain. So we have blockchain domains with Web3, and we have blockchain hosting with IPFS. This all seems great, but IPFS has some quirks similar to Web3 domain names. Right now, IPFS is powerful enough to host static HTML websites, meaning a system like WordPress cannot run on decentralized hosting. There's just not enough infrastructure yet, and with that system of so many computers holding little fractions of your website, there just wouldn't be enough computing power in any one place to load a dynamic website using a 
system like WordPress. So you could always jerry-rig your NFT domain name to traditional web hosting, but at that point, why would you do that? If you're gonna go through the trouble to use a decentralized domain name, you would also want to use decentralized hosting. Otherwise, why am I not gonna be able to have my domain indexed on Google search? And why am I gonna put up with people only being able to access my website through certain browsers if at the end of the day, my web host could still pull the plug on my website even though my domain name is protected? So with that said, who should buy NFT domains? Should Joe, a local coffee shop owner, invest in an NFT domain for his business? So here's what I would say to Joe. If all Joe cares about is running his local coffee shop's website on an NFT domain today, then no, don't buy an NFT domain. Web3 is just not developed enough right now for NFT domains to be practical today for most use cases. But let's say that Joe is forward thinking and Joe says, you know what? I don't care about NFT domains today. I wanna know if I should make the investment and buy an NFT domain now, because maybe it might become useful later. And in that case, I would say, yes, absolutely buy an NFT domain now. NFT domains can help you accept crypto easily with your business. So if you make that decision at any point to start accepting crypto, you already have that username of sorts to make it really convenient for customers to send you their payment. Also, we know that Web3 is the future of the internet. A decentralized web is coming, and if you buy your NFT domain today, you can use it 20 years in the future and you're never going to lose it. Remember, you pay for it once and own it forever. And oh yeah, NFT domains are definitely an investment. Especially if it's a really sought after word or term, NFT domains are going to appreciate in value, so you could always buy it now and sell it later at a higher price. After all, you would not want to be in the reverse position. It'd be highly unfortunate 10 years down the road to decide that it's time to make the jump to Web3 with your business, and oh wait, your NFT domain is taken, and the owner wants like $10,000 or something to sell you their NFT domain that's gonna match your business. You don't wanna be in that position, I don't wanna be in that position. I think that Web3 is significant enough that it is worth purchasing your business name as an NFT domain name today. I personally own Crayler.crypto and ChristianTaylor.crypto, and I'm looking forward to acquiring more NFT domains as new extensions come available and I see something I like. So what do you think of NFT domains? Definitely be sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you like this video, click that bell so you don't miss my future videos because I'm gonna be making a Web3 explainer video talking through the concept of Web3 at large and I definitely wouldn't want you to miss out. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and with that said, I will catch you guys next time.